Okay, this is the finished version that I'd shown you before, and I think you can see here uh, quite clearly how I have applied the same modeling ideas, but to a more resolved version here. Um, and you can see how I used, uh, you know, two faces there for this particular uh, part of the log, right? So we combine those two together, whereas all these other ones just come out of a single face. And then to make sure that the overall flow and structure is similar. So for instance, we have this guy here that kind of goes down on an angle there, connects, uh, this is its own separate piece here, but this guy right here is about the same height as that point right there, keeping that similarly uh, created right here as well. So, um, and how I created these little extra points here using the extrude method that I demonstrated in the previous video. All right, so that's all well and good. We bring this up to a decent level of resolution. Now, um, one of the things that you'll notice is if you unclick your model, uh, that it looks pretty hard edged, right? And if we go in and use our standard method of making things smooth, hitting three, that is, on the keyboard, that doesn't look very good. Also, it increases our faces to a gigantic number, 2,672. So we definitely don't want to do that either, all right? But uh, we can take the hard edged display and change it into a soft edge display very easily. So inside the modeling menu set, make sure you have your model selected and go to mesh display, soften edge. And what that will do is it will take all of those hard edges and it will try to interpolate between them to create a soft view. Now at a low resolution mesh like this, especially where we have these uh, very thin edges going on right here, you might get a few draw errors as the computer struggles to represent this properly. Now, we also notice that we kind of lose the interior of where that uh, circle was on the log. And we can bring those back, but we have to add a little bit of geometry to do that. So in order to do that, we can uh, shift right click and go to insert edge loop tool. And I'm gonna click and drag a line that's very close to the existing line. And what that's going to do now, if we go back to object mode, is create a definitive edge between uh, where this ends and where this begins. Now, I also want to do that here along these edges as well, along the interior edge. So I'm going to bring one out pretty close to the edge line there. And I'll also do it along the interior edge here. There we go. So now if I look at this in object mode, all right, and I click off of it, we can see we have some nice smooth edges that are going on here on the outside of the log, but then also some hard edges where we, where we want them along the uh, individual pieces of the wood right here. Of course, this side, we also would like to tidy up a little bit as well. So insert edge loop tool. I'm gonna uh, create an edge loop along the outer edge here, all right, like that. And there we go. Now we have a nice hard edge there as well. Okay, so that helps to tidy some stuff up a bit and display it properly. And then the total number of faces is only 272. So we haven't exceeded our budget yet, which is really good. Uh, we will wanna go in and delete the history again. So I'm gonna edit, delete by type, history, okay. And so now uh, we could presume perhaps that the modeling is done with this and it's going to be in the next step that we would go in and uh, start to create the UVs for this model so we can go in to add the textures that bring back all of the other detail that we want to add in here. So we'll put that in for our next video. Thanks for watching.